and what is going on guys it's your boy wrecked you and welcome back to another video and as you guys can tell right now we are back on imagine ps once again with road to riches from scratch episode number five now we are exactly where we left off at the last episode with 16,831 strength bonus which is pretty crazy we actually made quite a few gains last video got a corrupt crossy sword Seradum and Spirit Shield, a full Lucky Completionist set, Tiger Amulet, and we still have the Ring of Wealth, which is pretty nice, so our setup is really good. But besides that, we have had a ton of donations over the last few days, so big shout out to all of you guys that are supporting the tab. It looks sick. Big shout out to Dr. Touch Me. He donated a sick amount of customs like, guys, look at this. That is insane. I'll show you the tab in just a moment. Also, big shout out to Nikki. He donated me a few of them. And my guy is always crap, so all the other ones are gone. But we did get donated a lot of other customs, and I'm going to show you the tab right now. So this is basically what the bank looks like. We got donated a ton of party hats, a ton of H-Wings. We have every single Karasi upgrade, which is very nice. We do have the Corrupted Karasi now, which is a tier 10. We have the Gambling Pass. We have a lot of wings, a lot of cosmetics, customs. Guys, this tab is just sick basically shows you all the insane rares the server has to offer and you guys definitely need to come check out the server but other than that we are about to get straight into this video i'm tired of boring you with this long introduction but let's get to it and i hope you all enjoy we're gonna start this episode off by doing some requirements because i do want to complete this eventually and i feel like it would be a good time to do it right now because i do want 4,000 npc kills so i can do tazar and turtle because then we could donate turtles and get like double XP, which would be very nice. And then we can work our way up to like doing Hank the Tank and some bigger bosses. But right now I'm going to find out what boss I want to do. What I'm going to work on right now is completing the Lucky Knight requirements. So I need 250 Evil Eternip kills. And to go to Eternip, I actually need Jolteon kills. So right now I'm going to go to Jolteon and kill those for a while. If I can even do that, I might need a requirement to do those as well. And if I do, I'll come back and let you guys know what the requirement is. The requirements kill Jolteons is 25 mystery boxes as a drop to attack this monster. So I'm going to go to mystery box and get 25 mystery box drops. Guys, the support is so amazing. Yes, I've been watching them too. Keep up the great support. Made me rejoin. That is awesome. He said he's been watching me. Made him even rejoin the server. That is just great to hear. He said, nice vids, my guy. Big shout out to Iron Zoft and MC Ponage. 13 mystery boxes, and it's 1 out of 22 for each mystery box. And I think we've killed, like, let me check, inbox kills. 84 mystery boxes um, killed and 13 mystery boxes. That's not too bad since the rarity is 1 out of 22. So not too many more, and we'll have 25 drops, and then we can go do Jolteon. And there we go, 25 mystery boxes down. Let's open these up real fast, see if we can get anything juicy. It's 250 Jolteon kills before we can go to eat turnip, but these don't give bad loot. We can get the OP Dragon Chain Body, Sad Burner Longsword, the Warrior Ring, Imagine Fatal Shield, Saroon Helmet, Spinal Cord, Cape, and we just died. All right, we, we just, we actually just died. That, <laughs> okay. 250 of these kills is actually going to take quite a bit of time. Right now we have 13 Jolteon kills. Let's go, a Sad Burner Sword, that is a rare. I'm not sure how much it is. Um, a check price, 100 bill, not much, but I mean, we got to drop pretty fast. All right, now we got the Imagine Fatal Shield. If that's... A lot of money. All right, 200 bill. Dr. Touch Me is literally a freaking legend. Guys, look at this tab. Are you serious, man? Guys, this actually is fucking sick. Look at all these customs. Yellow Santa hat. Hell, white Santa hat. White Santa hat. All of these h wings, Dude, you are, you're sick, bro. We have reached 100 Jolteon kills. 150 left to go, and we can finally go to Eternip. There we go. We just got the Saran Helmet, which is another rare. And we got two OPD plates and two Spinal Cord Capes so far. You have unlocked Evil Turnips. That's 250 Jolteon kills. Not bad. We got three OPD plates, two Spinal Cord Capes, and a Saran Helmet. 
along with the uh, Sad Burner Sword and Imagine Fatal Shield. Anyways, what we are going to do is go to Eternups and finish the requirements, and hopefully uh, by the end of this episode, we can have a lucky night. I'm actually glad we're doing the Eternups right now because we can get the full evil set, and it's like a really good setup for when you're new. So if you guys are new and looking for a good gear setup that's not expensive, make sure and buy some evil. Just yell in the chat. I'm sure a lot of players have it, so it wouldn't be hard to get, and you can also get it at Eternum. Yo, let's go! Evil boots! Already? Each evil piece is one trill, as you can tell, and we got them boots on kill count 56, which isn't bad, so maybe we'll be able to get a lot of drops within the 250 kills, but we'll see. Finally, let's go! Turtles and Tazar have finally been unlocked. That means we have 4,000 NPC kills. Not bad. 4,001. The main goal I had before I started off this video was to have 4,000 NPC kills. Now that we're there, that is sick. We can finally kill Turtles and Tazar, so we're definitely going to grind those out in the next video. We are one minute away from a system update, and the system update is we are fixing clicking delays and choppy clicking. So big shout out to Hank, he's been actually grinding all the updates lately, it's pretty nice. So the game is going to be much smoother. The update just finished, and honestly it does look pretty sick guys. Look at this, the clicks are freaking insane, and it is looking a lot smoother, so that is so nice. Oh it's wrecked, hey man, what's up bro? When's next vid tomorrow? But anyways, guys, we have 249 evil Eternip kills, which is insane. So basically, after this kill, we can finally do a lucky night, and this seems like a great place to stop episode number 5. So I do hope you guys enjoyed, and right now we're gonna go to lucky night and kill a few. See how easy it is while we're wearing lucky in the tier 10 Karasi. See if we can kill him pretty fast, because I'm thinking about camping these in the next episode. Or two, I'm not sure. Hopefully we can get some drops here because I know they drop quite a few items. Let me check real fast. I will just check drops. Lucky Knight. Yeah, we can get a ton of one build tokens. Golden keys, hell keys, hell chests. We actually did a loot from one hour here on my main. Mystery boxes, full white gear, white party hat, white Santa hat. And basically just a lot of other customs. You can also get the full Lucky Armor set here, which is what I'm wearing. It's worth 150 trill, along with the Lucky Teddy Bear Shield. And then you can get the Diamond Party Hat, White Death Cape, Trim Berserker Rings, and Ice Diamond. It says, Lucky Knight requires 250 evil turnip kills, which I have. But I also need the evil set as well from the drops at evil turnip. That's so freaking Ah, uh, this pisses me off to be honest because I didn't know that until just now, but I still think that's where I'm going to end off episode number five. I hope you guys did enjoy. Basically, all we did this episode was work on requirements, and we actually did pretty well. We almost got Lucky Knight completed. We got 4,000 NPC kills, which means we can finally go to Turtle, which is really awesome because I'm going to grind that out as well. And Cesar, which is pretty cool. Maybe you can get some drops there, but we're about to pick the winner for the last video's giveaway right now, so good luck to all of you guys. Here we go. This is for the Heavy Dragon Bone set, which is worth 320 trill, 117 comments, so good luck to all of you guys who entered. Thank you so much for all the support you've been giving me, and let's go. Who's going to win 320 trill? In-game name, Jesse. Congratulations to you, man. All you have to do to claim your prize is comment on the video or PM me in-game. You want yourself a full heavy dragon bone set. It looks sick and it's definitely worth a lot of money. So whether you sell it or keep it, you want yourself a nice chuck of change. So congratulations. But anyways, for this video, we are giving away 300 trill cash. If you guys want to enter into this giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, comment your Imagine PS in-game name, and subscribe to my channel. But other than that, make sure and click the referral link. It's on the screen right now and first link in the description. Come join the number one custom RSPS. We hit 170 on earlier. We just had an update, so unfortunately there's only 93. But that'll change. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and peace out.